Howdy. Hey, looks like we got some folks rolling in. Hey. Oh, was I muted? Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, it's going. How about you? Pretty good. A lot of, uh, a lot of work, mostly. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving? Have we talked? We haven't talked since Thanksgiving, right? The days have been a, a blur. So, yeah, it's been a while. Oh, busy, busy, always. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? Doing well, how are you? Doing okay. <laughs> I feel like we're doing a bi-weekly schedule now. <laughs> yeah, we need to stop. <laughs> uh, I had a bunch of stuff come up with work last week. That's why I couldn't make it. But sorry about that, guys. Oh, no, it's fine. For me, it's an improvement. It's gone from once every three months to once every two weeks. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's on an upward trend, in my view. Yeah. I find it funny that you got back and then we immediately were like, all right, cancel next week, bye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I get the message, guys. Yeah, yeah. now that Wolf's back, we don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Just show myself out. <laughs> oh, man. Um, there's been a lot of stuff going on with the channel. Um, uh, there's been a lot of growth on Twitch, uh, which which is kind of nice. We're closing in on affiliate soon. Ooh. We uh, we still got to get the five people talking in chat at one time. Apparently, it was only four. I don't know what happened there. Um, <laughs> but you know, that's all good. Also, made like a new Discord border for the game so that it's not that like stock white. Uh, border for the Discord pop out. Um. Yeah, yeah. You guys all doing doing well? I guess I should start like doing introductions. Hey guys, I'm Rambling Man uh, with Rambling <laughs> Man TV. Uh, I am joined by my lovely players today. Uh, let's put somebody on the spot. Ella, who's playing Orlin. How are you doing? Good. How about you? <laughs> doing awesome. What about you, Wolf? Wolf is playing Vash. How are you doing, Wolf? I am a person who is alive. <laughs> right on. All right. <laughs> it's good to hear. Um, what about Tim, who is playing Tim? Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just keep rubbing that salt in that wound for the next three weeks. Uh, yeah. Playing Elduin. How are you doing, Tim? I'm... Alive, but maybe not for long. <laughs> Again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and we got um, Kyo, who's playing Odane. What's up, Kyo? Not much. Excited to play after having a week off. Right on. Um, and then uh, we've got um, Ferdy So Fly, who's playing Fee. How's it going, Ferdy? Killer. Yeah, the team doing killer. phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal, right on. Um, all right, I didn't miss anybody, right? I don't wanna I don't wanna be a jerk. Nope. I didn't miss anybody. All right, cool. All right, first intro. And it's only like eleven live streams in. Um <laughs> <laughs> all right. professional streamers here. Uh so what, you oh, guys you know, we should have described our characters when we did our first intro, but whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Uh well we can uh we can well, hopefully, like people have been watching by now for a little while, so they kind of get the gist. But you can describe your character if you want. You want to describe Orlin for everybody? Uh, sure. <laughs> so <laughs> I play Orlin Favier, uh, Eldrin Warlock from the Feywilds. Um, she is on a mission by her patron, uh, basically just now, but before it was on a mission just to prove. 
share a family that she can handle herself. And now she has to handle herself, you know? Yep. Yeah, right now she is she's in a very depressed winter mode because of previous events. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder I wonder what that could be a reference to. <laughs> 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 um all right, Ferdy, do you want to talk about Fee? Oh yeah. So Fee Fee Nominal is um is a Tian Chi. She's blessed by the heavens. Um, she recently killed a party member, like, <laughs> named... I wonder what that's a reference to. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's probably why <laughs> Orlin's depressed. Or maybe not. <laughs> I have something to do with it. All right. Um, Kyo, do you want to talk about Odin a little bit? Um, well, Odin is a normal human... Um, he's a bard slash warlock. Um, he is from a small fish, a uh, large fishing village, and he got drafted by, um, well, like the rest of us to sort of look into the flesh that's taking over the, the region. And he follows the fool. So he sort of gets our... He sort of leads the way sometimes. Yeah. For our, our group. Definitely like uh, uh one of the more optimistic folks in the group. Uh it seems to me anyways. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, he doesn't really care too much about danger. He just kinda <laughs> jumps ahead. <laughs> yeah, I feel like honestly, um Odane and uh Orlin might be kind of the only like really optimistic characters <laughs> maybe issue kind of uh, i don't even know if they're optimistic at this point and they're still the most optimistic yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're like half our friends are dead <laughs> we're gonna die here yeah. let's keep yeah. going <laughs> uh, okay. only get better from here and pretty soon we're gonna find a friend a former friend who attacked us uh, who's that i don't <laughs> all right well <laughs> let's skip right over that awkward moment um uh so okay let's uh tim do you want to describe uh your new character elduin who we met uh last session elduin is a kanku that always wears a weird creepy dwarf mask and right now he's a devil's advocate <laughs> yeah i like that <laughs> that's a yeah. good way to put it <laughs> um nice little play on words yeah <laughs> yeah right on <laughs> All right, and we've got a returning party member, uh, Vash uh, Wolf. You want to tell us a little bit about Vash? Uh, Vash is a seemingly human wildfire druid um, with a very normal and well-adjusted upbringing <laughs> who is anything but. Right on. That's a good way to put it. Okay, so... Um, Again, I uh, I haven't been really doing my job in putting up summaries on the Roll20. I hope that's cool. Um, but we can just talk about what happened last session, uh, just to sort of catch everybody up briefly, if you guys want. Uh, so Vash emerged from the chest cavity of a saint. <laughs> right. He discovered saint travel. Think <laughs> yeah. about that. Saint striding. Saint stride. Uh, we picked up with that right after that happened uh you were in a room surrounded by like uh crime boss uh and his associates in the five rings um who sort of like uh made a deal with you you made a deal with the devils kind of <laughs> sort of oh my first time won't be my last <laughs> yeah um and uh elduin was working with them and uh, you sort of set out to find your companions, right? Like you track uh, down to the inn where they had been staying and sort of picked up uh, their, their tracks from there um, and followed them to uh, the uh, cave. By the way, Vash, you would have definitely had like a few long rests um, before getting to the cave. Notice, I'm just now noticing that you're at half health. I'm thinking that's from... Uh, I was like, wondering, did I get hit by something last time? I don't I... think I don't think you got hit in the cave. Yeah. Um, 
So you did use like one uh, spell. Yeah, Maybe. I do have my spells marked off. But yeah, yeah. Um, but I you should on the HP. Yeah, yeah, you should be good. And I think you used like one wild shape to turn into a crocodile, and uh, you might have summoned the spirit. Um, but other than that, you should be good on like wild shapes or whatever. Because uh, the spirit, I'm just trying. To the spirit does count as a wild shape, right? Yes. Okay. I gotta get used to remembering how you work. Um, uh, so yeah, you track them down, and we basically were had like a uh, how fast can Vash and Elduin get to the group while insanity is happening? They were being attacked um, <laughs> by uh, water weirds. Who it was just like a hodgepodge of you guys fighting over the corpse of Timothy, um, <laughs> and you know trying to avoid being uh, drowned. Um, I did monk things too. It, it I turns ran out, in a line really fast. Yeah, it turns out Elwyn can get there very fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, monks, man, they're crazy. Um, let me just find the right map. For some reason, it's not showing up. I'm not sure what's going on. Did it some? Oh, okay. Sorry. No, that's not it. <laughs> uh oh i just saw it a few minutes ago it kind of seems like it got deleted let me just reload world 20 maybe maybe that's weird i was just looking at it a few minutes ago i know i didn't delete it um is there anything i missed as far as like what happened last session i mean i think, I think it's pretty much the gist of it uh, I don't think he missed anything. Yeah, we, we ran towards the combat that was in the process. Elduin jumped in. Got hurt a lot. A and lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. <laughs> and our sidekick, Ishu, tried to leave. Yeah, yeah. we managed to turn Ishu <laughs> around for the moment, at least. Yeah, there was that. Oh, here we go. It was just hidden for some reason. And the rest of us all barely survived. Well, technically, there's still chance to die. Yeah, still yeah, die. yeah, you guys are. <laughs> well, we, we barely survived the last session. We don't so know far. about this this session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you guys still haven't quite gotten out of the uh, the deep end, so to speak. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you're fighting all these like water creatures. Um, and, uh, there's a lot of them, and they're hard to, like, see when they're in the water. You're having problems tracking them, and they like to pull you guys under and try to drown you, so. Um, there's a thing. Bash went with the blow everything up option. Yeah, um, and you killed a few of them. Um. Yeah, so it's, I, I, I think I took the last turn, so it's definitely not my turn. Yeah, do you guys, okay, the turn order showing up okay for everybody? Because it was blank for me for a second there, for some reason. Yeah, I see it. Yes. Okay. Um, well, why don't we just pick up right where we left off? Oh, I do need to just say, hey, Ferdy, are you still cool with everything we talked about last time we talked? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, oh, he's murdering the entire group today. Uh, <laughs> the <period laughs> at all. TPK incoming. <laughs> Um, Are we going over goals? Oh yeah, let's huh, well, let me turn the music off. Um, we forgot to do it last session. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do we normally go over them in the beginning? Yeah, uh, yeah. I usually yeah. like when I pass out difficulties and stuff. Um, oh, okay. All right, uh, but but Orlin has all her difficulties, I think, already. Yeah, because most of mine are copied <laughs> from last last session. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, Fee, uh, discover fate a previous adventuring party. Uh, in progress. Hmm. I'll give you hard for it. Okay. Also, since how we went with the whole introduction thing, maybe explain the goal system briefly. Yeah, so yeah. Sorry, I just assume uh, they might be used to it by now. So instead of like uh, instead of like awarding experience for um, monster kills, um, like based on the monsters they fight, or doing like a, a milestone system where we just wait until they get to a certain point and give everybody a few thousand experience or whatever. Instead of that, the uh, players come up with goals, three goals before each session, and sometimes we do like a team goal for the whole party. Um, and I award them like a difficulty, 
and they get uh, experience when they complete the goal based on the difficulty. Um, there's, I mean, there's some other rules that go into it. Like if they make progress on the goal, but don't complete it, they still get like the minimum, um, stuff like that. And it, you know, there's certain like things we do for the goals, like try to focus on RP stuff, you know, and, uh, and, and not like, you know, um, that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what we do for XP. Um, are you guys, you, you guys have been digging the goal system so far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. They're, they're afraid to tell me that they hate it. Um, <laughs> sometimes it's really good and sometimes it's like oh i have no idea what to make my goal without yeah. just repeating it yeah, that's my yeah. thing making goals like well, geez what do i want to do well you guys have been stuck in the same place for like the last three four sessions yeah. <laughs> so hopefully hopefully we we uh we, you know we get you guys off the ropes um and uh you know the story starts progressing and maybe it'll be hopefully a little bit easier uh, to come up with goals and stuff. Um, or maybe we'll just... We're just trying not to die. Yeah, yeah. That's a good goal. <laughs> um, and that has been some folks' goals at some point. Um, <laughs> Alright. Uh, get powers back. Um, deadly. <laughs> you have to kill someone to get the powers you lost killing someone. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna. I mean, I I know that there's probably not gonna be a role involved, so I can't give you deadly for it. Maybe I mean, since we know, we kind of know where we want to go with this. I'll give you hard. Okay. Um, fight greater evil. I just made that up, like. In <laughs> <laughs> uh just because it might take you a while to get there i'll give you hard okay if you get there now you put fight greater evil not kill or win the fight <laughs> you know you just have to get there and start combat um to get that goal done today basically uh okay odane Smooth out. Can I read? The, yours don't say secret on them. I think Bash is the only one that has secret goals, right? Yeah, you can read them out. All right. Smooth out party dynamics when Vash is reintroduced. Um, if it takes a roll, I'll give you hard for it. Um, meaning like you have to like persuade somebody or do something. Um, if you have to make multiple rolls. I'll give you deadly. I don't know how uh, susceptible people are going to be. I don't know. At least the, the hardest person to do that with is no longer. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Um, <laughs> too soon. All right. Uh, find and deal with the source of the cackling laughter for the fourth session in a row. Uh, yeah, because you've had this one going for a while. It's got to be deadly. Um, and honestly, I'd probably put it at deadly anyways, because you guys are in the middle of something else right now. You got to deal with that and then deal with the, uh, the source. Um, okay. Uh, find out what happened to the children hard, at least. Uh, at least. Um, yeah, there's going to be probably... I'm, a role or maybe like a conversation or something to figure out exactly what happened there. Um, we'll see how you decide to figure it out. I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, Elduin. Learn at least one piece of information on each party member. Hmm. Like, define a piece of information, right? Like, it has to be something a little more complicated than I noticed yeah, Bash's, something... Bash's cloak is this something... color. Useful. Yeah. Okay. Less about their appearance or anything, or more like backstory or motivations. Motivations. Uh, skills that I know about them, so that I can know what they're capable of. Okay. That type of stuff. Yeah, I'll give you hard. Um, hard. and we'll go over like at, when we go over your goals, we'll talk about what you learned about each person. Um. Frighten at least one enemy. There is a role involved. 
I'll give you, if you get one enemy, medium. If you get more than that, like, we'll say up to three enemies, hard. Um, if you get All more, right. if you get more than three, I'll give you deadly for it. All right. Uh, do well, and my job is devil's advocate. So try to convince some of them to maybe work with them. Yes. Okay. When they get back to the town. Yeah. Type stuff. It's probably gonna be hard. All right. With that guy whose name I totally haven't forgotten. <laughs> Rife as I, right? Wasn't that it? I think that was it. I wrote it down and I can't find the notepad now. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that he looks uh, like Vincent D'Onofrio, right? That's not how you yeah, say that it. I remember. <laughs> um, all right. Orlin, make progress towards finding Melora. Hard, deadly of finding specific clues as per previous session goals. Uh, two, help and or befriend an NPC um, or someone new. Uh, deadly, fifth session in a row. Granted, easy last session because you tried to help Elduin. Uh, survive with as many party members alive as possible. Deadly question mark. Uh, yeah, as previous <laughs> sessions award for no one dying yet. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, all that stands. Um, Fash. Secret number one. Um, feel like that's going to be... I feel like it's going to be hard. I almost wish if I could ask. <laughs> like, hey, is this going to be... Um, I feel like it's going to be there's, hard. There's other voice channels. Uh, okay, let's pop into another voice channel for a second. <laughs> okay. Nobody listen in on the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, players mute the stream for a second. All right. We're both here, yeah? Yep. yep. All right. Do you feel like it might be deadly? Uh, I think the biggest impediment to that one is is dead. So <laughs> yeah, I, maybe not. Uh, probably hard. Um. Okay. I tell I you what. I can't put them on a, a whim, so I don't even know if they're gonna be hard. Yeah. Yeah. I do think Tim probably was the biggest, like, foil to Vash. I guess is the best way to put it. <laughs> um. Yeah, so it could be harder, right? So I think and hard they, probably. They still place. think I attacked him, so I guess there's that that has to be explained. Do what? They still haven't attacked you? Is that what you said? No, I, they still think that I attacked them. So oh. I, I, that still has to be figured out. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that was about, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> well, they don't know that. Well,. They kind of, well, even like they're talking about what happened um, when you went off the show. They yeah. kind of attacked you there. <laughs> like, um, I mean, you didn't, you didn't like attack them. You were in, they were watching you. You were in another room and you were surrounded by magistrates and you did a thunderclap and they knocked all of them out. And then you try, you were trying to do something and they were trying to stop you. So Tim fired an Eldritch blast at you, which hit you. And then you just like shook it off and you smiled at him and you got up on the pedestal and that's when you like vanished into the flesh kind of thing. Um, but, you not how I thought that went. <laughs> um, but you didn't like uh, attack them <laughs> is the thing. Like not directly, at least you sort of like subverted them, I guess a little bit um, and kind of betrayed them. But I don't, I wouldn't say Attacked is a good word for it. Um, so I don't know. Maybe they see it that way. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> the uh, third one, I do think, if something comes up, and something probably will, um, if you save somebody from like a potential death, I'll give you deadly for it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, so what was the first one? First one, I'm gonna stick on hard. The second one, um, we might pop back to the other one for that one since that's not secret. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's pop back. <clears throat> all right. So the uh, the second one would be if there's a if there's a role involved, I'll bump it up. But I think it's going to be medium. Okay. But if 
uh, you know, you have the second one, and I can say out loud, find out what the party's goals are right now and why it's important. If you have to make a roll, meaning, like, you know what Vash might have to do if he was wanting to get information out of somebody and he has to make a roll. Mm -hmm. If that's how you have to do it, then I'll give you hard for it. If nobody wants to tell him because they're all <laughs> suspicious of yeah. his motives. Yeah, basically. Doesn't sound like anything that would happen. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and uh, making uh, make issues stay with the party or convince, as Wolf put it earlier, as the party goal. Um, I mean, I don't feel like it's going to be super hard. I'll give you guys medium for that, just as an extra bonus. Um, all right, that's goals. That took a took a minute, huh? Um, <laughs> where were we? All right, we're jumping right back in. Music, and it's playing twice. Let's uh, try I that. Hear it. <laughs> it's I only heard it once. Oh, it's playing twice for me. I don't know. <laughs> roll, roll, roll twenty, guys. This is... There we go. Now it's fixed. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I did that. Um. So I guess it's Orlin's turn. Uh, Orlin can't see any of the monsters, right? Uh, yeah, the thing is, when they're in the water, they're not, they're invisible, so. Yeah, um. so, um, I don't, there's nothing she could do because she's out of spells, and I don't remember if she was shooting at where she thought something was or not. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I don't know where or if like I think she was trying to help Eldwin, but I I guess she could just keep I guess she could just shoot where Eldwin was in case it's not dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I think I'm missing from initiative order. Oh yeah, Eldwin sure is. is. Uh, what? You were on initiative order last time, right? Because you took turns. Probably because you changed the token. Oh, yeah. That's probably it. Um, alright. I, <laughs> I think I had high initiative, but I don't remember. I don't remember either. I can find out right now. I can just go check the VOD. <laughs> um, let me just fast forward to the tail end of the VOD. Oh, look, it's already there. You might have been right before Vash, actually. Because you were, I remember you got on land and then Vash did his um, Earth thing. You had a and then yeah. you had a twenty one. We ended it. Yeah, okay. you took off and we were, I was trying to catch it. Just roll something and I'll change it to twenty one. All right. Let me make sure my tokens clicked. There we go. Okay. Well. I lied. You get it 10 now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, there. That should fix it. And then I gotta... I, Vash was the last one to go. He had 20. I think it would be going down. I think you went before Vash, right? Yeah. So you'd be right there? Yep. In the order? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Alright. Alright, so... Um, Orlin saw... This person who is supposed to be a bird man, according to Fee, come up on land and mm -hmm. wearing a really. Did you say it's creepy? Uh, the mask. I I I would guess it was kind of creepy. That isn't really <laughs> the intention. It's kind of like a China <laughs> mask of a dwarf. Yep, those are so, creepy. So he's okay. wearing a creepy dwarf. <laughs> And she she looks at me like, are you sure that's a birdman? <laughs> it looks... <laughs> you better not attack us, bird thing. And she's gonna ready in action to Eldritch Blast. Either him or if she sees another water creature. Alright, we're gonna team kill him again. Alright, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Makes the job easy. Okay, so you're holding an action. That's... Yeah, that's all she's gonna do. Okay. Uh, Ishu. Oh yeah, I forgot Ishu was here. Let me get his sheet up. Uh, he's under pets, right? Yeah. There he is. 
Why is the music? Oh, okay, there it goes. I was like, why is the music keep stopping? Okay. Uh. Okay. Hmm. I think he uh he just he had just told you not to go bash right right like because the things are in the water. Like stay back from the water, yeah. Yeah. So I think uh he turns back to you and says, ah, ow, what do we do? I don't know what to do. Are you gonna Is he waiting on a response? Oh okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Uh, stay away from the water. Okay, so he'll uh, back up, I guess, to right there. Maybe he'll take another step back just in case. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get grabbed and pulled under again. That stuff is not very fun. Um, wh what do we do? Flush it up. What? <laughs> Blow something up. Uh, okay. <laughs> he fireballs you. No, um, he he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff left. That's what I was counting on when I said that. <laughs> uh, I just just like anything. Uh, Preferably something that's trying to kill us. Like, do you know where they are? Uh, he'll just run up and shoot a, a firebolt into the water. <laughs> um, I mean, technically he could hit them, so it'll just be like disadvantage, I guess. Right. Hey. Remember to stay away from the water for all of three seconds. Yeah, I mean, he's going to back back <laughs> up again. Um, he does hit one of them, though. Yeah. Uh... Okay, well... Ooh, big damage coming out here. Yep. <laughs> I definitely don't have resistance to fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, I, th I think I saw it hit something, but uh, it, it didn't do much. He backs up again. Um... Work. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Uh, okay, that's his turn. B, you're up. Is Elduin prone or? Uh, I don't think Elduin so. Elduin is not prone. Okay. I forgot where where the enemies are, but um, I'll check Timothy's body if it's still fine. I move closer to Timothy. I'm not sure it's fine. You put a lot of holes in it to start <laughs> with, so. <laughs> Hey, got grabbed. <laughs> like, um, it's it's a corpse, and it's been dead for like what eight hours or so now, because you guys did take a long rest, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Did so I thought he yeah. died during the long rest. He died yeah, during. during the long he did die during the long rest. So it's been like five, a couple hours, maybe. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's probably not like. Uh, it's not looking great. I mean, it's not like uh, rotting or anything, but it might be starting to smell a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's what the corpse is like. It's also got a giant sword hole in it, in case um, you know you didn't know that. <laughs> already in action, in case something pops up. Um, already to attack anything that's close. Okay. Five feet. Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um. See, wildfire spirit still up in the air over the water. How far? Uh, it was. It got hit once before, so I think it's still pretty close to the water. Yeah. It's within range. All right. Tentacles come out of the water. Uh. At the, towards the uh, wildfire spirit. And again, they're just like made of water. Like the tendrils. Everything about the creatures is just like made of water. Okay. Are they still invisible? Uh, as long as they stay submerged, yes. But the tentacles can reach out. Can so like, the... you, like, I'll show you the spot where it, the tentacles come out. Um, like right here. The tentacles are coming from right oh, here. You can't see that. 
Oh yeah, because you guys are around the corner. <laughs> Vash, Another question. Vash sees that, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Another well, question: Do we see corpses or do we just see puddles of water? Uh, I think when they died, because um, the way you killed them, it was just like steam, like coming out of the water. Okay. There's, I don't think they really like leave behind corpses. Um, they probably just like merge with the water around them or evaporate. Uh, um, but yeah, okay. Attack on the bird. Oh, I already did. Um, and it was a crit. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That hits. A twenty-five. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so nineteen bludgeoning. Dang. All right. All right. She got this. Oh, uh, that was the wrong thing. Did it have exactly nineteen health? Is that what I saw? No, he had 28. Oh, okay. I, I, I did 19 thinking to remove it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. uh, he is grappled and pulled five feet towards the water. He is immune to grappling. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yep. Um, is he... Let's see. Grappled... And immune to prone. Is he immune to restraint? And immune to restraint. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right on. So I guess like we just see the uh, the tendril like batters the bird like it tries to grab onto it but it can't it probably just like goes through it and we hear like the sound of like water burning on the the bird's like fire um like yeah but it can't like grab a hold of him and pull him towards the water okay here comes another one <laughs> um this one let's see if I gotta move the thing because he's going to have to move to attack the bird uh, and then I can show you where it comes from it's just like a little bit uh, down and to the right mm -hmm. uh, did I close the thing I think I did it's okay it's right here all right another attack 20 yeah that hits 13 that is enough so the fire goes out, yeah? Yeah, the bird goes kind of poops okay. into nothingness. Oh, that's 90. Um, I, should I get rid of the token for now? Uh, I can always bring it back, so yeah, if you want to. Okay. I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll delete it. But you said you can pull it right back onto the map, right? Yes. Apparently you... that was my light source, so I'm in the dark now. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> That's fine. I can I can still see some of the map because I, I have the pseudo dragon's mm -hmm. vision. Oh, you should. I just can't see around Bash. You shouldn't have the pseudo dragon's vision though. Yeah, you left it on there because I couldn't see anything before. Uh oh. <laughs> so you're so you're blind is what you're saying. You got you got uh, tor you got torches right? I do. Okay. All right. All is not lost, but I am going to have to take away your vision privileges from the uh, pseudo dragon. Oh, okay. Um, because it is not it is not technically yours. How do I how do I do that? Uh, go into the the cog on it, and it should have a like who has. Should, no, it would be in the in the, in the sheet. sheet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, edit. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's not in your journal anymore, and you can't control it. That fix that? Anyways. Uh, no, I can still see. You can still see through it? Really? Yeah. Maybe Maybe you're hacking the game. <laughs> um, I, to I, I, took, I took it off. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just in Ella's journal. It's just control. I'll reload. Maybe that'll do it. Uh, if I just have a blank screen, I'll know. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fixed. All right, it's all right. Well, while he's figuring out if he cannot see anything, um. Well, the uh, the cre rest of the creatures don't do anything. So, Odain, uh, your turn. Um, Odain's going to see that a dwarf just came in. And he's going to take a couple of steps back from said dwarf. 
by far the ugliest dwarf you've ever seen. He doesn't really <laughs> trust <laughs> it. He was told it was a bird, but it, was, it doesn't look like a bird at all. Um, and, but, <laughs> but he's just gonna blast this general area, because he doesn't exactly know where the enemy is. <laughs> okay, what area? Sorry, can you mark it again? Um, this direction. Okay. All right, Wolf says it's fixed. All right, eleven is not enough hit, to hit, hit anything. No. And then... That doesn't hit. Unfortunately, so not. He's just—he just doesn't know what to do right now, and he's sort of confused. Yeah. And that ends his turn. Can relate. Okay. Uh, Elduin, you want to do anything? Elduin is in a bad place, and he's gonna disengage. And one, two, three, four, five, six, and then turn to face the threat. And that's gonna be his turn. He's terrified right now. All right. He doesn't you, like this cave. Are you holding? An, <laughs> are you holding an action or anything like that? My action was to disengage and oh, get yeah, over, yeah. to okay. not take any attacks of opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And right. that'll be my turn. Cool, cool. Bash. It's dark. Yep, it is. Um, you can light a torch if you want. Nah, I'm sick of this game. Uh, I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Okay. Uh, can, On... can Link? Yes. Can Link indeed. Oh, the torch that I had probably went out when I went in the water, so I don't have light either, actually. Okay, give me a second, and I'll fix... Yeah, I just realized that. <laughs> you should be able... Can players change their visions? I don't think they can. No. Uh, okay, fairy fire. 20-foot cube, and I'm going to do it. Uh, I can't see, technically, but I can see... There is light source coming from them, so I can see from here... Upwards and towards the right. Okay. So well, I'm going to rigid right let me, here. Let me put out Elduin's uh, light source really quick. Just to I make... forget, does Odane have. Oh, he's not emitting now? light. Yeah, I, he has double sight. Okay, so all of all of our party can see in the dark and none of your party what? can. Do they not have any light sources out? Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think any of us have a light. We all have dark vision. <laughs> yeah, Elduin, you're not emitting light, so I don't. I'm not sure what is over there. Let me check. Yeah, why yeah. do I have vision? That's so, weird. I think maybe Fee has a light on her. I think. Is so. it the bird? Uh, uh, it's. No, the bird's gone. Yeah, the bird's gone. Was it Tim? Maybe. No. Uh, you have to move. If you move Fee and the stuff moves, we'd know if it's Fee. Did oh, someone right. cast light on I'm my moving. dead body? <laughs> uh, Could be. That sounds light. like something they do. He's not emitting light. I... Let me check. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure all of us can see in the dark. Yeah, Fee so just has... Yeah, now that, now that Odin has dark vision, none of us have bothered with light at all. Yeah, Fee, <laughs> well, Fee has I guess dark vision. Us. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing anybody that's like emitting a light. Let me check Odane again. No vision squad. Um, Odane has dark vision on. Uh, oh wait, he is emitting light. So let me tur turn that off, and turn on dark vision. And sorry, you might go blind for a second, but it should be fixed as soon as I'm done, Odane. Did that now I have vision. Okay, yeah. O Odane was emitting 120 feet of light, is what was going on there. I think there. That did that so that everyone, so the stream could see it, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The stream still sees, but it's just because they're seeing through your eyes. I'm not sure why. I'm, it must have been a boo-boo on my part. I must have accidentally made you emit you light. Have, you might have done it um, last session because... When Elduin and Bash entered, like you were trying to show them how far they had to go. Maybe, yeah. I'm or not sure. that might uh, that might have just been why Bash still had the pseudo dragon. 
Uh, yeah, I know that's why I had the pseudo dragon sight. <laughs> All right. Well, you should be surrounded by darkness now, right, Vash? I sure am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just a flamey icon right? in the middle of nothing. Alduin too. Oh yeah, he should be blind. Are you Elduin? I am indeed very blind. <laughs> <laughs> he was silent. He was he was just like probably panicking to himself a little bit for a second. He was I'm very, here. very blind. He panicked and then the light went out. This is only getting worse for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elduin, uh, you start with any travel supplies when you made your I trip? have torches I can relight. Okay. It's just my old one went out. All right. Cool, cool. So technically the spell does not say it. A place that I can see, so I should still be able to cast it. Uh, yeah, let me paste this thing in here. Uh, this is a we haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> this yeah. is our old fairy fire token. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, does it emit light? If not, uh, twenty foot cube. It outlines them in light, so it doesn't emit light, but it will, they will be visible. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, they do shed dim light. Never mind. I'm stupid. Uh, low, well, dim light is what, like, 10 foot radius. It just says it's a 10 foot radius, yeah. So objects and creatures within it will shed dim light. That, you should be able to see light coming from that now, right? Yep. Where do you want to put it? Uh, I'm going to put it right. I think the idea was to capture as much of that space as possible without hitting myself, so. All right, so the creatures become visible, I think? Is that how it works? They are outlined. Uh, that means they're basically visible, I think. And the affected creature or object can't benefit from being invisible. So yeah, basically. All right. Let me reveal some of these guys. But don't they have to do a deck save? Oh, yes. Oh, they do? All right. It doesn't matter. You know where they are. I'll just do the deck save and fail, probably. Uh, two deck so, saves. 18 and an 8. What's the DC? So the second one fails. All right. Let me make the first one invisible again. Uh, okay. So there is one under the fairy fire. I don't know if you can see him. Um, yeah, I do. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and is there anything else that happens to him besides being visible? Uh, attack roll. Against has them. advantage. Against them. Okay. And can't. Okay. Okay. Cool. You do it. It works. Okay. And then seeing them right there, I... Oh, he's close. Really close. Just seeing if I have any bonus actions. I'm adding a turn order for the fairy fire at last a minute. Yes. Um, which is 10, tur 10 turns, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, is that your turn? What are you thinking? Yes, I'm going to try and back up. Okay. Uh. No, because if I do that, I'll be out of the range of. Never mind. I'm gonna stay. All right. I won't be able to see if I back up, so there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, that's it. I'm good. All right. Uh, let me put this down to... I think... We put it down to nine now, or do we wait until next turn? I think we maybe wait. Uh, I I we... Yeah, I think we maybe wait until next turn. Go ahead, Orlin. So, do we see this flash of fiery purple? It only I, well because it outlines objects too, right? So we would see stuff kind of glowing. Yeah, Up like to... if you can see right. it, if you can see it yeah. from where you're at, then yeah, you can see it. Okay, so Orlin sees stuff suddenly start glowing over in that area. Um, I don't see any monsters yet though, so she's gonna hesitantly uh, step. Uh, she still doesn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> so close. She's so gonna close. ready in action <laughs> to Eldritch Blast if anything 
can be seen in this area. And that's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready action. Yeah. Uh, issue. Uh, yeah, I think he can he can step up. Ah, uh, I I think I can see it. Um, and he'll step up and. Hmm. Let's can go we... with the blowing up things. Yeah. Can we hear them talk to each other? Uh, yeah, you probably are here. You... Not very far away. Yeah, plus it echoes through the cave and stuff. And um, the fairy fire light might look kind of familiar. Some of you guys have, you know, you guys have seen it before. It's been a while, but uh, okay. Issue will <clears throat> uh, do this, I guess. And he can choose the damage type, right? I believe so. Yep. So, so I guess he'll do lightning. Um, I make a random. Okay, so it hits. It's been a while since I've used that spell. Um, 16. And it is not resistant. All right. Um, so there's like, a, I guess a lightning ball. Um, flies into the water and uh yeah he's like I, I i think i'm getting it um i don't think he has anything else he can do so uh that's his turn b issue is that you uh yeah right right here we we got one of them are you fine by yourself over there uh, not alone. Who's with you? Uh, do do I tell them? Do I tell them you're here? Look, you're not here to you're not here to kill us, right? Focus on the matter at hand. Just just help us kill these things. There's not time to talk right now. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. I'm gonna start a fire and I'll cook something. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I move here. I'm not gonna burn Timothy's body, but I'll start. <laughs> uh, you don't need firewood. All right. <laughs> <laughs> or just just do it. I, don't know. Do it. <laughs> I do not have wood, but let's see. <laughs> I stripped the robes off of Timothy's body. <laughs> That probably would work. Don't do that. Come on. Aren't man. his aren't aren't his clothes all wet though? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he did the draft. I think like I still have that's torches. So I, have, like, ten. <laughs> I have ten torches. I start um, burning, um, making a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, let's see how long it takes to set up a campfire. <laughs> At least a we'll minutes. rest here yeah it's gonna be like the rest of the combat uh <laughs> okay let's see if there's official 5e Does rule we have flint um she has oil but no flint to start the fire um i do have the cook's cook's utensils let's see what it has oh god <laughs> So very D and D. I mean, I, I can't find like an official ruling, but it's not the spell create bonfire, so I'm assuming it's gonna take like ten minutes at least. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> All right. I'll just. I'll just stand here in case somebody grab. Oh, I actually, I'll just grab Timothy's body to a safe area. Oh, lighting right. any oh, other fire takes one minute. Oh, okay. One minute. Okay. All right. Fair enough. The torch is in action. Anything else is in there. Oh. Right. That's my action. Okay. 
Um, and sorry, were you making the ban the the fire? Is that what you were doing with your action? I just want to make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. All right. It's gonna take you like ten turns. <laughs> How many? So when the fire, when the fairy, fairy fire. fire. Is yeah. When, the, <laughs> when by the time the fairy fire runs out, it'll be completed. Like that's assuming or Bash doesn't get concentration broken or anything like that. Does anybody have magic? <laughs> no, none of that here. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. If you mean fire, no. I got fire. <laughs> and come here. I don't want to get in the water. Okay. Help! I must kill this thing so I can get over there. All right, I'll catch you later. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so that's the end of Fee's turn. Um, back to the water weirds. Um, all right, well, there's a lot of shouting and stuff going on. Um, what's their, okay, yeah, okay. I'm assuming the this guy, I mean, he can make it there, he could make it. He could make it there, and he would be close enough. All right. Well, <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of space to move in a turn. Okay, Odane, here's an attack on you. You're within ten feet. Were you holding an action or anything? Nope. All right. Just Orlin. Orlin. Yeah, Orlin was, but I think she's just looking for this area. Well. I mean, you're within line of sight. One tentacles pop out of the water over here. You can take a shot with disadvantage. Okay. I'll let you go first. Uh, that hits. Twenty-three. Nice. Yeah. There's the <laughs> first one, and then this is the second blast. <laughs> uh, it hits. Seven plus. Ooh. So twenty. There's twenty total. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> wow, okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. okay. So, like, you blow, like, a chunk out of this thing. Um, I think it just, like, turns to mist immediately. So you just see, like, a large plume of mist come flying out of the, uh, the water. Um. Excellent. Uh. Can't. It's not dead. It still gets the attack. So here comes Odin. Not excellent. Uh, 20. That hits. All right. You take 16. The plus seven Wait. is not on that because it was not, not a crit. Not, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but you do take 16. Is that enough? Okay. Yeah. All right. So you fall unconscious. Um, you're, you're grappled. You're pulled five feet towards the creature. Right there. Uh... Unconscious, grappled, restrained. Um, there we go. You're not in the water, so it can't like try to drown you yet. But yeah, there's just like a big water tendril wrapped around Odane, and it like it it's knocked him out. Maybe it slammed him up against the wall or something. Um, and he's being so, dragged towards the water now. So can we see? The tentacle? Uh, yeah. the tendril, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Here, I'll reveal... I mean, it's grappling him. I think what we were doing before is when it was grappling somebody that was on land, I just revealed the creature. I think that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So that's what like I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. That was the first one's turn. Um... Hmm. One of them is preoccupied. I think the other one can't make it up there to, to really mess with you guys really hard. Let me see. Uh, not, no, I can't make it close enough. Not really. Uh, okay, well, it's going to move then. It's just going to move. Uh, so I'm going to put it... 
like right there. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, um, but that's fine. That, this other one, the one that you guys can see, Vash. Yes. It, it flees into the darkness. I mean, does it? It stays outlined, right? Does it? Doesn't it? It would stay outlined, yep, for up to a minute. Okay. It it flees like, like back behind these pillars, like it just running away from you guys. Um, they and do it still put sheds dim light. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, I'll have it. I'll put some light on it right now. So Low light. Yeah, I'll give it a ten foot radius. Uh, and now the rest of us can see it. <laughs> yeah, you guys all see that? It's it's back over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay, that's their turn. Oh, Dan. I need a death saving throw. Here. I just failed a death save. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. That's one fail. At least it wasn't a one, right? All right. Uh, I'll do one. I will use my action to light my torch. Or one of them. Okay. Um, torches are what? 40, 20? Is that what they are? Or 30, 15? I don't remember. Let me check. Uh, 20, 20. 20, 20? 20 bright. Yeah, 20 bright, 20 doom. Okay. 20. Oop. Not two. 20, 20. Uh, 20. <laughs> so you're emitting light, so everybody will be able to see it. Bright light, low light. Uh, okay, that should do it. Yep. And then I will. Hang on. Okay, I can use a dart with my bonus action. So I'll use my bonus action to throw a dart. Or to. I'll move up. One, two, three, four. You moving your corpse? And then. Oh, I moved Timothy on accident. My bad. So I, I think I, I moved over Timothy and I got stuck inside of Timothy's hitbox. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And then I will throw a dart. All right, the one that's on Odane? Yeah. Uh, this damage is incorrect, but the attack roll itself is cor is right. Oh, do you need to fix the damage? I just, I don't have darts mapped, but it's the same roll. Oh. Um... Mm. Next to Orly. This is this is uh yeah. this yeah. is bad. Yeah, this Wait. is a bad first um, attack next to the party. Uh and uh, like Odane's between you and the creature kind of. Do you give uh, oh. the question is do you give Odane uh, a failed death save? <laughs> That's the question. Um Wait, one second. Oh, technically God. he can't attack. Um he's throwing a I'm throwing he's, a dart. He's throwing a dart, not a Yeah, melee. you can't bonus action attack without attacking first. I thought Monk could... No. I don't think so. Okay, never mind. Oh, no, no, no. It's the, sorry, it was the bonus action I could... Who keeps leaving and joining? No. Bonus action I could... Uh, who's flurry who's leaving and joining bad. what? The Discord. The Discord. There's oh. the notification. The Discord. You could hear that. I'm not hearing it. All right. Well, it's good that I can't do that, I guess. I guess so you don't roll a crit one, <laughs> is what you're saying? Rules lawyer to the win. <laughs> or to the rescue. I should uh, be in like... In that case, I run up and hide behind Orlin. I should be like, no matter what you do, you've rolled a one. So you... <laughs> you trip and fall and you're bad. Yeah, yeah. Can use it. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, you can just run up and hide behind Orlin if you want to. You're okay. taking the hide action? Hide behind her. No, I'm just standing behind her. Okay. And using her as a shield. I don't know how she feels about this creepy thing behind her. <laughs> so Unrooted says, uh, the "I made torch it." Just flickering. Depression. Unrooted says, "I made it torch just in time." On the door flask. Unrooted says, "I made it just in time to see the crit quota for the night. All is right in the world." <laughs> uh, well, hang in there because we gotta make that one official. There's that gonna be a gonna... bunch more. Yeah, there's gonna be a bunch more crit ones. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so. Sorry, you're just you're just hiding, right? Or like not yeah, I'm taking? Yeah, just sitting behind her with the torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vash. Bonus section, coward. Got it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I take it that he tried to get where I could not see him. That's a pillar there. 
like that's I what he's yeah that's vision. what he's trying to do but he can't he couldn't get like perfectly behind it right so like you can still see him do i have an angle of shot at him if you can see him then yeah i'll give him like a plus two ac just for like partial cover maybe okay. he's kind of behind the pillar but not really so like um the only area that runs up to the ceiling is the spot where your vision's blocked by the center of it the rest is just like rock that's out of the water so you could theoretically shoot over that rock right So. so in addition to losing fireball i also lost fire bolt did you what yes really how wizards of the coast sucks PC. Uh, <laughs> but you're a wildfire Man. druid right <laughs> so did you have something else like burning hands or something yes that's a 15 foot radius <laughs> you do you do have that though yeah i do have that all right that's a, that's a pretty cool spell they took away our cantrip though and the cantrip is so much more useful i was gonna give you burning hands as a boon at one point i think but I, maybe we talked about it and you were like no i think i get it anyways or something i can't remember i just i think i was unenthusiastic about it maybe, oh. <laughs> maybe you can give him fireball instead yeah yeah, yeah. Real. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm fireball um yeah so instead, you know what I'm you know what? Uh, take fireball. What? No. Yeah, I need to update your boons anyways. You've been gone. Everybody everybody else is getting boon updates. Yeah. But. <laughs> are you like, are you, are you super against it? I mean, I don't see a reason... No. I don't see a reason to cut you off from having fire spells, personally. I don't care what Wizards says. Okay. So I mean, the Wizards are all kind of uptight anyways. Was there anything... Was there a trade-off? Like, was there anything you gained for losing Fireball and Fireball? Yeah. So, instead of Fireball, I learned... Oh, that spell you used last time, right? No. no. Revivify. Oh. oh, Revivify. All right. Yeah. And then instead of Fire Bolt, we got Burning Hands and Cure Wounds as first level spells. Which right. I did use Cure Wounds. I'll tell you what. We'll update your boon at some point because we haven't really gotten to the fire stuff yet. So just take Fire mm -hmm. Bolt for now. Just take the cantrip. Okay. I'll, and I'll yeah. And you still got like other fire stuff. We'll give you, we'll get you Fire Bolt. Ball at some point. Cool, thank you. I'll fireball. All right. I can't believe they oh. they nerfed you. <laughs> one sec, that's supposed to be with advantage. Well, I thought it was gonna be a one. I was gonna be excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, which I don't think hits because because they see bonus. Yeah, so it's off by one. If he wasn't behind the <laughs> if he wasn't behind the uh, thing, you would have been fine. Momentary forgetting of fireball messes him up. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take a step back, just just a five footer. Okay. And, and oh, sit And that's it. Okay. Up. Uh, Keep trying to blow him up. You're doing good. Uh, thanks. You too. <laughs> um, all right. Put this down to nine. Uh, Orlin. Okay, Orlin does not like creepy dwarf mask bird thing <laughs> behind her, so she's gonna move <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> Um, uh, and then she's gonna Eldritch Blast this thing. Yeah. Uh, let go of Don't him. Let go of one. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Odin's death. <laughs> so, oh, okay. can I aim for its tentacle and not have disadvantage, or do I still, would I still have disadvantage? Um, she just wants to get it to release Odin. I think basically you can see the thing. You don't have disadvantage. 
Like you know, oh, okay. where, you know the space it's in. Maybe if you can't actually see it, like because where the tentacle is, you can see where the tentacle is coming from. So, yeah, that's you, true. Yeah, you don't have disadvantage. Okay, cool. Not while it's grappling somebody who's on the land. Okay, it hits. Nice. Awesome. All right. If only the damage was more. Oh no. Oh. I mean. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's either we roll a D2. yeah, it's either you or Odane. Who? Okay, so you get a D two. Oh god! If it's a one, if if it's a one, it's Odane. If it's a two, it's you. Wouldn't it be funny if we all perma died? <laughs> <to each other? laughs> all right, so you go to let off the second blast, and it blows up in your hand. Um, this is the second time she's done that this combat. <laughs> <laughs> blown herself up. The chat's uh, making faces Winter at you. Orlin, Winter <laughs> Orlin is, is not very, very good at aiming. It's hard to aim when you're crying. Yeah, she's still got tears <laughs> on her, her face. <laughs> Alright. Is, uh, is that your turn? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have any bonus actions, so. All right. Issue. Uh, uh, I just keep blasting him, right? Uh, uh, he's going to move down here and try to get a shot on this thing. Uh, well, how much, how far is that? I think he's got some movement. I'm going to put him down here. Down here. Just to give him a direct shot. So like none of the creature is behind cover. So see if he, he can hit it with its regular AC. <laughs> uh, he, he didn't buy roll 20 premium. <laughs> uh, Guilty of <clears throat> Oh. He misses. Um, uh, I I can't. I, it's too far. Um, all right. Well, that's... he should have advantage because the things lit up. Oh, he does have advantage. Okay. Oh yeah. Because so it doesn't have cover from him then. Because fairy fire. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well then, yeah, it would hit. Um, all right. Roll damage. I thought you were talking about his pack tactics. I was like, but there's nobody on the creature. Oh no. Uh, 17 fire? Really? That's a cantrip. Okay. Wow. He rolled a 10 on a d10. Um, it's 2d10, I think, right? At his level, so... Yeah, I guess it does. It's a high roll. Goes up. Alright. Uh, so it would do... That much? Alright. So we got a piece of it. Um, some more of the water burns off into steam. Uh, it's not as effective as, as I'd like. V, you're up. I don't know why this guy is standing on top of my fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Uh, can I see the feet? Like, I can tell that it's like bird, like, feet, right? Or, or uh, is he wearing armor? He's got, like, robes on, right, Tim? Describe Elduin. I think he had patches of feathers, but like some of them were like ripped out, right? Is that how you described him before? Elduin has just kind of well, not right now, probably not as matted because he's been in the water, but greasy black feathers, and then in patches sometimes there's just a feather missing or a feather kind of crimped and bent up out of shape, and then his beak is broken. Is it? Are the feathers like? obvious or are they all covered by the ropes though well you'd, if you looked you'd probably see some feathers here's my question yes he robes here's my question elduin are you because you're wearing the mask right now right uh-huh are you in disguise because you he's in to... this he's in disguise but not enough that they wouldn't be able to tell that he was the kanku if they were paying close attention okay because you have an ability that lets you like right like, your disguise is flawless, and when you're wearing it, people can't tell that, that it's you. That's part of your thing. Yeah, it's, that's part of my thing, but he's also just been dunked in the water, All come right. back out, and has his robes probably soaking wet, not fitting quite right. 
So I feel like it would be reasonable that they'd be able to tell that I was a Kenku right now. Okay. Also, Tim knows that if he says that he looks like a dwarf, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot you guys hate dwarves so much. All right. Oh, I'm like pissed. So I just like, I, but I see Odin like on the floor. I, I'm going to save Odin. I move here. He's grappled right now. He is. But uh, Fee, make it like an intelligence roll. I just want to see something. Oh gosh. Can you grapple creatures a size larger than you? Can you like Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay Fee. So you saw like how those other ones were killed earlier. When Vash like cast that mm -hmm. spell, it pushed them out of the water and it killed them instantly. So like you yeah. know if you can if you can get a hold of this creature and pull it out of the water. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Um oh crap. Grapple. It is actually before I tell you that it is. I just checked and it is immune to grappled. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Okay. At least you told me that. So it's I like, it's it, like it would be to like grab water. Yeah, you're trying to grab water basically. So I don't want to. Yeah, sorry. I, just, I was trying to help you there, and then you yeah. can only grapple it with a sponge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Use the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do my healing hands on Odin. Yeah. Okay. Then as an S, and it's seven, seven HP. So he heals. Mm -hmm. All right, reset those death saves. <laughs> um, is that your turn? Yay. Yeah, that ends my turn. All right, creatures turn again. All right, time to go back to sleep, Odin. Yeah. <laughs> so it's still the one that's still grappled on Odin. Uh. I mean, I'll have you it go. Attack me, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'll have it go first. Um, I mean, I guess it would just make the attack again. I'm just looking. It could just like pull you into the water, right? Because you are grappled, so it could just like move back and just like take you with yeah. it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna. <laughs> it's it's movement would be half though, I think. Because it's grappling. Okay. Well, uh, let me yeah, let me see. It's grappling slow. It would be halved unless the creature is two or more sizes smaller than you. So yeah, he he's only one size smaller. Okay. All right, so its movement is halved. It does have a lot of movement though. Um, when it's in water. <laughs> uh, my opportunity attack. Yeah, take your opportunity attack. It's moving. Can I moved it, it back because it's moving. It. It's moving from that spot. Why did I name it? Okay, uh, this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, unfortunately, oh. it misses. Um. All right. Let me see. Let me see how far it can move. Because it's gonna pull him as far away as it can. I'm guessing thirty feet. Yeah, because normal yeah. movement is uh. 60. So that square would go there. Uh, Odane, you are would we, end up like right here. Are we going under water? Yeah, is he going under or just skimming the surface? Just below the surface. Like it's just like just barely under. Not like diving deep. But it's trying to it's focused more on getting away from you guys than it is on pulling Odane down. Um, is it also attacking me or? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to also attack you. Here's the attack. Ooh. Oh my. Okay. All right. At I least hit. I healed him. I think, a, I think a crit 25 does hit. So you guys are rolling crit, all the crit 1s, and I'm rolling all the crit 20s. Is what's going on. I mean, I'll roll, I'll roll damage. But <laughs> uh, I think you're down again. Uh, That's a blade. You make a make a wisdom check before you go down. Wisdom check before I go down. Okay. It's non-lethal. You are just unconscious, but you are still drowning. So there's that. But you're stabilized, All basically. Right. 
Uh, you hear the voice again. Like it's coming from the creature. Um, and then what does it say? it's just like uh, it's it's probably a so another soft giggle, and it's just like with me, fool, and it like pulls you into the water, <clears throat> and then everything goes black. Um, for you. Uh, that was one of the creatures. So we still got more to go here. B. Uh, I'm gonna make an attack on you. Seventeen doesn't hit. I don't think, right? Doesn't doesn't hit. All right. And this one that's been running away. Um. I mean, could like, hang on. I don't even know if I could get it over to anybody to attack. I don't think I could. Hang on. Because it's got to kind of like weave through all this. Yeah, it couldn't get over there. I think it's just it going. It could come to me, right? It could, but you're already dealt with. It has, it has no reason to, really. Um, And it's. Also, like, trying to avoid being killed. I think maybe it runs back this way. Uh, it was right here, right? Let me mm -hmm. see how far it can move. Yes. There's 45 right there. Right about there. All right. So it gets to, like, right here. I don't know if anybody can still see it. Orlin can yeah. kind of see the corner of it if she can see like around the thing. Yeah, move down I this mean, way. I can see it, but I'm passed out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, that's all their turns. Uh, Odane, you're unconscious but stable. Make a d4. You don't need to make a death save. Oh. Right, because you're fine for like you're fine for like the until you start drowning. Um, so you're out for four hours unless somebody heals you. All right. Um, but how long? How long did we figure out last time? How long it was until you drowned? What's your constitution modifier? Uh, one. All right. Plus one. Uh, how does drowning work when you're already at zero HP? One plus your con mod. So you get two minutes. So two cool. minutes is like 20 turns. Uh, and then you can hold his breath better knocked out than I can awake. <laughs> 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 yeah, a creature can hold its breath for a number of minutes equal to one plus its con mod. So when it runs out okay. of breath, it can survive for a number of rounds equal to its con mod. Oh, okay. So, okay. So when you run out of breath, you got one round, and then you're dead. Basically, I think it's what right. I think it's what happens. Or you start taking death saves. I think actually, something like that. We'll figure it out. You're probably not going to get there. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whatever happens, happens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Elduin. All right. I apologize in advance, but I want to do a cool thing. Um. <laughs> So, I will use Hour of Reaping. Okay. God. <laughs> you take a sash. Every creature within 30 feet of you that can see you must succeed on a wisdom save or be frightened of you. Okay. So, that's all the party members that are around you, too. Except for Vash, because he can't see you. And Ishu also can't see you. Odane can't see you. He's also unconscious. Saving. <laughs> What's the DC? DC is... Hang on, I gotta double check to make sure I'm right on this. My DC is... 12. Or, sorry, not 12, 13. Oh, that's... oh, something went wrong with the Discord thing. Here we go. <laughs> okay, sorry stream, it should be fixed. Okay. 
Um, so what was the DC again? 13. Okay. So Fee is, uh, Fee is afraid of you. <laughs> Orlin is not. Um, I forget how high was the ceiling. I think we said like 20 feet, 25 feet, okay. something like that. Let me roll for Fea. <laughs> All right, I'll roll for the water weirds last. Yeah, it's fine. Meet it, beat it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, water weirds, wisdom save. They don't have any modifiers. Okay, this is funny. There's one. There's two. They both fail. They're afraid of me. They are <laughs> frightened of you. Um, you're very scary. Uh, I did it. That. Sure, that emoji sounds fine. That or is right it one? terrifying? And that's my turn. Oh, B also failed. <laughs> uh, just gotta make sure to give you the emoji. All right. Uh, Vash, you're up. Oh uh, boy. <clears throat> Where do you think you're going? At the one that's running? Yeah, and it's still supposed to be advantage, and I don't know why I keep not clicking it. <laughs> that's okay. Um, r r hit it a second time. You get three shots with that, so you get, like, four more rolls. Okay, the first one <laughs> that is... Was... Yeah, that's a 21, that not a second. not an 8. <laughs> uh, you get four more rolls, though. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so second one. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So and, hit, hit. And... Third one. Actually, I'm going to double check this. Uh, okay, it's when you cast it at a higher level, you get more. Yeah, so those are the three. Okay, they all hit. All right. Even with, like, whatever bullshit AC he might have from cover, they would all still hit, I think. <laughs> all right. 18, 28. Halved. Yeah. All right. I mean... You blow out, like, a significant portion of its body away, which turns into steam. Um, but it's it's still going. Damn it. Finish it off! Uh, and that's I'm trying! My... It's a great thing that our fire attack based party... <laughs> yeah, I know. Water creatures. <laughs> yeah. If you were outside, this would be much better, but we're not. <laughs> um, alright. Fairy fire goes down to eight. Orlin? <laughs> okay, Orlin's not entirely sure where exactly where the creature is, but she sees Odin being dragged, so she's going to shoot in this area. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eldritch Blast. There's... 14 hits. Cool. And then that's the second. Hits, yeah. Oh. How, how do you want to kill it? Does cover? Not, not from... Oh, not... Uh, well, well, I can always have moved over here. That's true. I was going to say, <laughs> is that one spire blocking your view? It is. I mean, you kind of could have shot around it. Yeah. It's not blocking a huge portion of your view there. I mean, how do you want to kill this thing? I'm going to let you kill it. Um, it, yeah. but the usual blasty, the, the <laughs> her beam of, of crackling energy blasts it. Oh, maybe she blasts it a little bit out of the water. Yeah, okay. Um it only it only had fourteen HP left. Oh, so. nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh overkill a little. <laughs> just a, just a tad. Um She wants Odane back. <laughs> Odane's body's floating now. <laughs> well, yeah. We hope. Roll he should float because he's still got air in his lungs. Okay. F fair enough. Yeah. 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 That's that's fair. I was gonna have him roll to see if he floats or sinks. <laughs> That's why I said it quickly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, and he—he he probably would be naturally buoyant. He probably has done a lot of swimming and stuff. I would think so. Uh, nice. All right, that's your turn. And now to decide whether to move to try and save him or not risk it. I don't think she's gonna risk it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's not. Guys. She's not in brave mode. She is in everything's gonna go badly mode. So she's. She's not like half crying, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> There's just 
always tears in her eyes. <laughs> Water levels rising. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, issue. Uh, I gotta get a shot on this thing. Um, I guess he can run back up to, like, here. Yeah, I can draw a line to it from there, right? Yeah. Um... Let's do another one of these. Lightning. Uh, I mean, that's a hit. No issue. And... It's the exact same roll, too. <laughs> he... It's really, really rough. It's look, It's looking really rough. You do see its outline, so... Um, but it's not quite, not quite gone yet. Uh, I think I got a good shot on it. Um, that's his turn. V. All right. Since I'm frightened, do I have to move if I'm frightened? I forgot what the frightened does. Um, um, so frightened condition means you have disadvantage, I think, while you're within line of sight of the source of your fear. Let me think. And, okay. and you can't. Willingly move closer to it. Yeah, you can't willingly you move closer. Yeah, yeah, that's all. So I could just be here then. Yeah, you can stay here. there, but when you like, if you're trying to attack the monster or anything, you do have disadvantage because of the fright. Okay, I'll still attack at disadvantage. All right. Please roll high. Uh, that's enough oh, to hit. And I will mark it with my. Where was it? You're not attacking Elduin, right? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta ask. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Oh, wait, let me put the unwavering mark. It's gonna be a long thing, but. Okay. Put the mark on it. That's a fighter thing, so you're fine. Um. And yeah, your sword cuts into it just like water. Doesn't feel super effective. Um, yeah. Okay, it does and, do. It does do something. I. And I tell, like in my head, I'm just like, really, uh, Seraphina, you're not gonna help us at all. Odin's like about to die. Okay, you want to do this now? Remember All right. Remember like three hours ago, like, C was about to kill all Dane too. All right. Yep. <laughs> all right, Fee, make a, let me see here. Hang on, I got to look it up. He is make, about make to a, get smited by Seraphina. Make a charisma saving throw. Wish I was proficient in that one. The party's <laughs> the party's gonna really wish you were proficient in that, Fee. Um, so Fee blinks out of existence. <laughs> she just there's just a there's just a kind of a sound. <laughs> she just vanishes. Um, Alun's just thinking, wow, she was really scared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she just teleported away. <laughs> so I'm gonna. She used fee step. I'm gonna delete the. I'll, I'll put you on the. I put you on the oh, GM. Okay, so that removed okay. all, that removed all your sight when I did that. Yeah. I just, okay, I just put you on the GM layer. I was afraid it would like show you the entire map if I did that. Oh, that's true. Okay. <laughs> it's it's all black. It's black for me. Just like for Fee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she just blinks out of existence and she's gone. Um, I'll remove you from the turn order. Uh, okay. This is going really well, guys. I just wanted yeah. to point that out. Yeah, it's going it's going really good. <laughs> um, I'm glad I came back so I could save you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the creature's turn. Um... I think it stays marked, right? I'm not sure if it matters, if it's just a thing for you. It doesn't matter anymore, because I'm gone. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, well, this creature is going to go towards Odane's body. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, it's not it's not going to attack him. It is just going to grab a hold of him. Yeah, he's unconscious. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to do anything. It just grapples him, right? Odane is basically flotsam. Um, and then yeah. it is going to move. So it was right here. It has full movement until it grabs Odane. Then it has half. So 10 feet of movement would put it down to blah, blah, blah. Grabs Pretty Odane. Fast. And then it has uh, X amount of movement left. So uh, probably right there. So it moves to right there with Odane. I think from anybody watching it, you're just seeing... Have you ever seen like uh, a shark movie where someone gets bitten by the shark and they're dragged through the water? <laughs> um, water ripple movie. Thing. Yeah, yeah. so you just see his, his unconscious body just like moving through the water super fast. Um, it's like Moana. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but that... Is what happens with that guy. There's one other one. Um, I suppose it'll turn and come back now. How I'm far? Not, like, uh, really, didn't it? Didn't it technically? Anything. Didn't it technically move closer to me during that? Uh, no, not really. If, it moved. If it went like. It, it moved, was right here, right? Yeah, it moved to, like to the right and then down. So kind of, yeah, I guess it kind of did. Um, would it not? It wouldn't be able to do that, would it? I don't think so. Yeah, because it moved. It was right here. It moved like there and then went this way, kind of. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't, know. I don't know if that's close or not. But if it goes in water, would it still see Timothy? Oh, I mean. Elduin? I mean, it it, it would <laughs> see him until it gets behind that pillar, right? Like, can they just go underwater? That's true. They could. It could just not like see Elduin. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but if uh -huh. it's going underwater, would it still be able to reach Odin? Like, how far underwater would it have to go? Yeah. That's well, it has a ten foot reach, so it it could oh, right. it could go ten feet below Odin and still grab him. Um. <laughs> uh, All our tips to save Odin. <laughs> yeah, I hear you guys. I do. Don't worry, he's not uh, dead, right? He's just unconscious. Um, uh -huh. Not dead yet. Okay. The Until other one that was pops back up and stabs the corpse. <laughs> the other one that was running away starts coming back. It gets to like right there. Uh, okay, Odin, you're unconscious. You don't have to make a death save. They're stable. I think that's your turn. Um, sorry, Odin. Uh, Elduin? For four more hours. <laughs> uh, Elduin... Elduin can see where Odin's body is, right? Yeah. Because I can, I can see his body, kind of. Okay. Um, yeah, if you can see it on the map, then you can see it. Alright, so I would probably know the general area of the creature, then. That's fair to say. Um, I'll move over to there, and then I'll try to not throw a dart at Odane, but throw a dart under yes. Odane. Yeah, I mean, if there, you, uh, as long as you don't roll yeah, like a damage one. roll is wrong. <laughs> All right. If, you do, so with this advantage, or me, with... do I become unstable? Sorry. If Tim hits me, I'm assuming I become unstable. Right? Then you start to die, yeah. Yeah, you'll start to die if he hits you. <laughs> um, he does have disadvantage. Uh, because the creature is technically invisible. But as long as he doesn't roll a one. Well, it's Tim. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if Elduin knew Odane, he wouldn't be going for it. But Elduin doesn't know Odane and doesn't really care too much. So I I'm going to go for it. Yeah, go for it. This is darts. All right. The same roll, by the way. That oh, hits. Wow. I actually did it. Uh, 
it's supposed to be a D4 plus D4. Okay. Now, do your then, darts count as an unarmed strike? Are they magical? I don't think they are. Let me double check. Uh, they don't count. Okay. As magical. So, was it five then, piercing? Something like that? Yeah. Alright. Five piercing. And then I'll go again. Disadvantage. Hits. Okay. Ooh. And then I'll go bonus action. Another dirt. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kill him? Oh shoot. Uh oh. Um, he has zero failed death saves, right? He currently has zero failed death saves. So yep. you stick him. You stick Odane you know... with the dart. You take one. You take one death save fail. Because What's... are these darts that like you throw with your hands, or are they darts that you're like using a a pipe thing to that I throw out? with my hands? You could fumble and hit your foot. <laughs> I, I am okay with Odame being punctured. I mean, it's, party it's, it's just it's just one death save. Okay. I'm turning into Fee. This is all Orla needs to see that you're attacking her party members. <laughs> <laughs> as far as Orlin knows, I just missed Odane twice and then hit him the third time. <laughs> I've already made Fee disappear, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Um, is that your turn? Oh, do you still have more? Uh, no, I'm out of I'm out of uh, attacks for the turn, and yeah. out of confidence. <laughs> okay, right. Um. All right, Vash. More time. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what I can pull out of my. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, I have to look something up, so it'll be just a second. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have an idea, but it's a new spell, so. Man, chat's busy tonight. That's good. Hello. Hello, chat. Uh, distract my GM, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it doesn't give me the list I need. <laughs> so... Uh, so, like, uh, you know, what, what you guys been up to? Playing any good games recently? <laughs> <laughs> um, Brody and I have been playing uh, Hyrule War Warriors Age of Calamity. Okay. Right. I was checking out a little bit of Path of Exile last night. I'm playing, uh, put some videos up for the Infected and Medieval Dynasty. Mm. Um, let's just play around with some stuff. Do you need some more time, Wolf? We can kind of, this might be Sorry. a good excuse for me to have a scene with B. If you guys... Uh, yes, please. Yeah? Okay. All right. Well, Fee, um... <clears throat> Let's uh, let's go to the title screen, I suppose, just so we have a, a screen. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put V on the screen, and everybody else will go to GM layer. I think we are losing V in our game. All right, I just got back. I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize. Oh, Dane's still gone. Yeah. Oh. It's like he's on Discord mobile now, so something might have broken. Oh. Let us know if you 
V, are you here? Are you good to do your scene? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, yeah, I'm good. All right. I know, back. I know the players can't see anything. It's because I put you guys on GM layer. Um, I think maybe you guys can't see anything. Maybe you just see Fee. I don't know. Um, all right, Fee. So you find yourself um, in like uh, a field. There's uh, trees, like timberwood uh, trees, like pine trees along the outer edges of this field. They're not like um, surrounding the field. Your view is, isn't obstructed. There is some like uh, mist in the area. Um, and just uh, everywhere where there should be like earth, there's just bodies, just endless sea of bodies in every direction. Um, yeah, you find yourself just standing alone on this sort of uh, like a battlefield. Um, in silence, basically. You do have this weird, um, like, deja vu feeling, I think. Like, mm -hmm. uh, you feel like maybe you've been here before, kind of. Um, and there is, like, a probably a pretty surreal uh, feeling that starts to wash over you, I think. I look into my hands to make sure it's still my, my limbs are attached. Make a wisdom save. Wisdom save. Okay. I think you know that that's a failure. I'm going to let you decide what the outcome of this role is. I'm just going to give you two choices. Mm -hmm. Does Fee see the truth? Or like... Or does she see what she's been taught to see? She's been... Um, the latter would be the one that... She sees what she's been told. Okay. So you look down at your hands, you just see your hands. Okay. Do I see anything familiar uh, with this like pile of bodies? Or... Yeah, um, if you're going to start looking at the bodies, I think the one closest to you, um, maybe the one you're st standing on, perhaps, uh, may maybe your boot is on its neck. Um, it's Timothy, for sure. Um, as far as, like, uh, the assortment of the rest of the bodies, they're not, none of them are wearing, like, identifying markers. They're not all from the same place or the same army. Um, or whatever, they're just random. Um, they don't seem to like uh, be in, in like various states of decay or anything. They all seem very, fairly like freshly killed. Um, there isn't like uh, flies buzzing around or the smell of rot or any of that stuff. It's just a uh, matter of fact, now that you think about it, you can't smell anything. Um, okay. there's, it's just a, a sea of, of bodies. I scream out Serafina's name. Help me, Serafina. Yeah, so I think um, may maybe for the first time uh, you're aware of her presence. Like, she maybe she's been there this t whole time. We've been, like, sort of seeing you, like, just standing in this empty field. Um, but, like, the camera's facing you as you're, like, calling out to her. And then maybe we just see her, like, step out from behind you, kind of. Um, and uh, Serafina is, um, she's she has very fae-like features. She's got like pointed ears, um, bright blonde hair. Um, her <clears throat> eyes blaze like the sun, essentially, like just light pouring from her eyes. She's wearing probably um, very immaculate, beautiful golden armor. Um, and she probably carries a few weapons. Um, probably nothing you would recognize really in particular, maybe, um, a lance. Um, it might be very similar to, um, the weapons we saw with the, uh, Farang guys. So like, uh, it's like a long golden lance, um, but it's got a place on the tip where maybe there could be like a, an arc of electricity if it was activated or something like that. Um, yeah. And she's just standing there with you. She doesn't say anything, but you're aware of her presence. 
It's like, where am I? <laughs> she says, um, this would be heaven. Be. Or at least one of its domains. Why did you bring me here? I only asked for your help. It wasn't my choice to bring you here, B. She kind of um, grimaces. I'm unsure, just as you are, as to the reason. I did try yeah. to negotiate on your behalf. That's why you're not speaking to me, or you're neglecting me? She kind of sneers um, at you. Neglecting. You were the one who betrayed your oath, V, not me. Uh, I I may I may not have um uphold to my like the loftiest of all um oaths, but I did my best. Timothy had to had to be killed. Timothy was a champion of the Arcana, V. There is divine law. He was off limits. Well, nobody told me about this. <laughs> Shouldn't have to. Even a Tianxi, angel of death, shouldn't go around killing on a whim, should they? I guess not. But I was trying to protect the kid, and then while I was trying to protect it, Timothy attacked it. He, he, he used those beams, and then that kid died. I understand, but I'm afraid that heaven doesn't see it that way. Perhaps Timothy was out of line himself, whether the kids could be saved or not. It wasn't the first time he'd entertained the thought, I think. <laughs> um... So in the same way that you were suddenly like aware of her presence, um, the two of you are suddenly aware of a third and then very quickly a fourth presence. And um, in a similar fashion, they don't like come out of the woods or anything like that. They're just suddenly there. Um, they just <laughs> uh, uh, before you stands a pale horse. Um, it's rider, their face can't be seen, I think. The rider's face is, uh, covered by a hood. Um, they're wearing armor. The horse itself is skeletal with, um, like a, like a dull gray light emitting from its, um, empty eye sockets. Uh, like I said, the rider's wearing, like, Similar immaculate armor to um, Ser Serafina's armor, mm -hmm. um, but the horse is just loaded with weapons. I think as the camera falls on death, um, maybe the first identifying thing we see hitched to the side of the horse is like a sickle. Um, and then maybe the camera pans across and we see like your sword on <laughs> as one of the weapons on the. Uh, on the horse and um nearby like maybe a foot or two feet from the horse uh stands a very pale gaunt thin man um dark circles under his eyes but he wears a fine robe uh, a fine dark black silken robe um and he's wearing a uh like a rice hat um that just covers his face maybe from the eyes up just like the way he's sort of tilting his head uh, his arms are like held out in front of him, like interlocking. Like he has one each, uh, one hand in the opposite sleeve, so you can't see his hands. He's just sort of hold, holding them in front of him. Um, and they they're just sort of there watching the two of you. 
and they just seem to be like sort of taking the moment and why are they here and what do they want Serafina? she says um i did try to negotiate on your behalf p but i would assume that they are here to pass judgment and there's like a crack of thunder uh in the sky um and like suddenly you're aware of like dark clouds building over the area so by that judgment what do they want me to do we hear like the the sound of the uh like divine trumpets we heard whenever tim was meeting with his uh patron um and uh the uh the the man the gaunt man um puts his hands down to his side and like fiddles in his pockets and he he pulls out uh, like a parchment and he holds it out in front of him and opens it um your full name is Fee Numnal, right? Is that it? Yes. I go by it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so he addresses you Fee Numnal, Tian Chi of the Arcana of Death. You have been summoned to heaven for a transgression, it would seem. Do you have anything to say in your defense? I'm innocent. He sort of looks um, like for like a split second, he sort of looks over to, in death's direction, then thinks better of it and kind of like rolls his eyes. He continues reading off the parchment. The Arcana are sworn against attacking one another. However, you, a champion of death, has murdered a champion of judgment. There's like a lightning, a thunder crack in the distance again. And he stops for a second. He looks up at the sky. I am aware of this. We are holding tribunal currently. And he like continues. You face the charges of betrayal to the arcana of blasphemy of murder and you plead innocence yes he kind of like sighs i'm afraid that heaven doesn't make mistakes p can i uh, can i ask for a trial you're currently undergoing a trial. This guy has like no emotion. Like he just deadpans everything he says. He has there's it complete monotoned like a NPR <clears throat> uh, radio announcer or something. Like there's just no inflection at all on his voice. He has no care. Like he's pro you get the impression he's done this probably like millions of times. Um he uh he folds up the note um, and he says, you've thrown heaven into disarray. Judgment and death are at each other's throats. Things cannot proceed this way. There has to be some kind of remedy for the current situation. Do you understand? I do, but what kind of remedy do, do you guys want? He looks uh, uh, over, like, he starts to look over towards death again. Um, and before he, like, makes eye contact, Seraphina is like, please, just take me. Just, I'll pay the price. Let her go. And he looks back towards uh, Seraphina, uh, Seraphina, and he says, Ah, oh, Seraphina, so good to see you again. But I'm afraid things won't be that easy this time, you see. Judgment is calling for an eye for an eye. Wait, so you... 
why can't you just take me instead? Hold on. We're getting there. Judgment. Do you have anything to say about the price to be paid? There's like a crack of lightning and another like blaring sound of a trumpet. The the ground seems to shake um, with the reverberation of it. Death doesn't speak ever. Um, it seems to maybe it's communicating ideas to this gaunt man through his mind, perhaps, but it never reacts. It never like speaks or anything. Um, the man says, um, fair enough. We can leave the decision, the punishment up to them. That would suffice. Uh, he turns towards death, um, who kind of like the head, like tilts forward very slightly as if to nod. Um, and we see for the first time, the person on the horse actually moves, um, but it's only to reach down for a weapon. Um, we see like a skeletal hand reach out from under the, uh, the armor um, and grab a familiar sword hitched to the side of the horse. The uh, gaunt man says, um, yes, it seems only fitting. A good instrument to pick, my lord. The uh, you recognize the sword as um, Sue's last word or whatever the uh, the sword you carry. The... Oh, the non magical one or the, the ubus? Uh, it's it's the it's ma the magical one. Yeah, it's I mean it okay. wasn't it wasn't magical for you currently. Um, um, okay, but uh, yeah, it's that one. It is it does seem to be working here. Um, but yeah, death like unsheathes the sword from a like a scabbard on the side of the horse. And just tosses it toward the two of you. It lands somewhere between you and Seraphina. I quickly um, run to the sword. Okay. And then grab it. Yeah, you grab it, no problem. Um, Seraphina doesn't move. She doesn't even take a step towards the sword. I think once you pick it up, uh, she just kind of closes her eyes and she says, uh, it's okay. B. And she sort of just like holds out her arms, like just kind of waiting. Seraphina, you've been watching through my eyes since I was a little girl. You've been my mother. Um... You were my conscience um, ever since in the monastery. Any last words? Um, I think she just says, there's more work to be done. Don't waste time feeling bad about this. Or was I just a vessel, Serafina? Not for me. I don't do that anymore. Then I think you should. And I grab the sword and then push it into my, my stomach. Okay. So you skewer, I bumped your You skewer yeah, yourself. Yeah, I skewer Okay. Um, so, like... When you say, uh, like, I think you should, there's, like, her eyes open. She, like, reaches out to try to stop you for a second, um, but she's too late. You you bury the sword into your torso, into your abdomen. Blood pours out over the hilt, over your hands. Um, the pain is intense. Um, your HP is reduced to zero. But... We see like a spectral form shoot out of the back of you. Um, it's not like fully corporeal like you are here, mm -hmm. um, but it's a female orc, and um, she's like thrown from your body, and she looks at Seraphina and like growls, and she's like, "Ah!" And she jumps back into your body. 
Like, and uh, then you come to with like one HP. Like your your orc racial just kicked in. Um, I mean, you have to do it again to go through with it. What was that about? Who was that? A past incarnation. Seems you have won her over under your control. You know the, the friends that I have in that material plane? I do. I fought with Take them many times. Them. Take care of them. And I slit my throat. Okay. So, I mean, B dies. Uh, like, we can go through and see the full gruesomeness of it. You slit open your throat. Blood pours out. You're just, we see Fee like choking, trying to like instinctively gasp for air, choking on her own blood, and she falls to the ground. Seraphina like runs up and grabs the sword and like pulls it away from you, and she's like holding you on the ground as you're like bleeding out. We see like you getting pale, um, the light starting to go out in your eyes, and she's like holding you, and she uh like one hand on the back of, the, of your head, and she looks up to um to death and the uh the gaunt man and she says uh how could you do this to me i can't lose any more children she says um and there's like a silence and we hear the crack of thunder in the background again uh the sound of the blaring trumpet um and uh i think we don't see much more of the scene. Like the camera starts to pan out from above you as we're like looking down on Fee, like bleeding out, dying. Seraphina's stand like on, over, not like kneeling by her, I guess, kind of like holding her head up and like looking up towards uh, like death and the gaunt man. And we just kind of like hear her sort of narrating, like, okay. She's like talking to herself. She's like, okay, I've got a job to do. Don't feel guilty about this. And then, like, one of the last things we see before the uh, camera cuts away is um, Fee's, like, the tips of her fingers start to turn to gold. And then, like, as the camera, like, right before the camera cuts out, we see, like, the skin on her face turning to, like, marble and, like, beautiful stone and metals, like, pearl. Um, and then there's like a, a bright kind of light that starts from Seraphina and just washes out over the rest of the scene. Uh, and then it just cuts out. And we just fade back into the cavern. I'm just going to reload the cavern. I should should pull you guys back in here automatically. One second here. Um, I'm going to have to send you a DM here in a second because okay. you, you have a, a mission now. Um, and I'll let you know what that is. Um, but however, reappearing in the same spot where Fee vanished is Fee. Maybe. Uh, no longer frightened. However, the body is still in the same condition. Like, you still have all the damage. You do regain your powers. So your paladin stuff is all back. The sword now works again. When she appears... Um, the entire room shakes. Uh, there's like a blinding light that comes from her. I need everybody to make, everybody who can see Fee needs to make um, like wisdom saving throws. Now who's scared Eldwin? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's everybody, yeah. Um, so, Elder, when you're the only one who fails, so 
the rest of you, uh, I guess just Orlin and the pseudo dragon somehow, maybe or we see a bright light, like a, just white, just so bright. It's like looking into the sun. I think Orlin instinctively like covers her eyes. Um, Elduin. She's already looking in this direction. So she just sees out of the corner of her eyes. like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Um, Elduin, uh, you were forced to your knees. And you begin uncontrollably weeping. Um, <laughs> like something, something breaks in your mind. You guys have, um, I guess, only Elduin really has witnessed uh, a divine event. <laughs> so what we see as the audience is like Fee reappears, and there's like a blinding light behind her. Maybe we see, see like the silhouette of wings. Um, that are immense. They they fill the entire room. Um, and they're just a huge bright light coming from her and her eyes. And it just happens very quickly. And the light starts to dim and go back to normal. And Fee appears for all intensive purposes. All intents and purposes. Uh, appears uh, normal. Appears like Fee. However, <laughs> um, I will change the name on your character sheet and on your token. Okay. You're Serafina now? Yes. Um, hang on. I gotta see. Okay. Um, and on the token, you, you still wanted to, to do the thing we talked about as far as like, yeah? Yeah. So I'm just changing the the name there for you. I mean, if I spelled it wrong, fix it. <laughs> no. <it's not. laughs> right. Um. Okay. And roll, Seraphina, roll initiative. I'm gonna send you a DM. Make sure you click your token. Nice. Divine intervention. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay, Ferdy. So let me tell you what your mission is. To kill the party. Um, let me just make sure I've worded this all right. I don't want to like. You can, we can talk, have a conversation about this afterwards if you, if okay. you need more information, but this is the gist of it. I see. Okay. Is this like a secret mission? It doesn't have to be. Like, you can share it if you want. Um, you're a different person now. Uh, all Fee's memories are in there somewhere, just like the orc was in Fee somewhere. Um, you still have like all fees, like all your boons, you have all your paladin powers back. Um, you also can add speak with dead to your sheet. 
Um, do you have the high? Do you have a high enough spell slot to use that yet? If you don't, add a spell slot of that level. What level is that? I think it's five. It's third level. Third I level? only have first level slots. It's a third. You only have what levels? First level slots. Okay. Add a third level slot. And you now know speak with dead. Um, you can also. <laughs> this is going to be uh, a bit of a. Uh, like a gotcha. Um, <laughs> Because you don't have the ability to use it yet, but uh, Seraphina does know the word. I think you know what I'm talking about. You're gonna add add power word kill to your list of known spells, but you don't have a spell slot for it. It's like spell slot nine okay. or something crazy. Your vessel's not strong enough to withstand speaking the word yet. Awesome. Um, so yeah, you know the, like you, I don't know, like we can talk about it maybe if you want to try to speak the word and the fallout that could happen. Um, I don't know, like, but maybe for now, just don't, <laughs> don't, <Yeah>. don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's something that, uh, she would have like divine knowledge of you have your mission sort of we can talk between episodes if you want to know more about the stuff seraphina would know you also have all the memories of every incarnation you know mm -hmm. you know everything that happened here with you um it, like not fee but past lives of fee have come into this dungeon a couple of them and they have all died here um along with party members that were with her um, some of them were past incarnations of the people you travel with now. Some of them were completely random strangers. Most of them had some kind of divine connection to the fountain um, or to an arcana. So basically the fountain, but through an arcana um, or a primordial god of some kind. Like most of the people you have fought alongside had some kind of like divine purpose or like maybe it's accidental, but they all have like some kind of connection to a god. Um, yeah, whether it's an arcana or like uh, a primordial god or something along those lines. Unrelated question. Mm -hmm. Do I sense any uh, saints for my saint stride? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, but like, even Can were it? you in. Even where you and Ishu are standing, like you feel like the gr the ground trembles and the walls shake, and there's probably like some couple rocks that fall from the ceiling, like dust, um, as the area kind of quakes as um, you know, an angel steps into the physical world for the first time in thousands of years, like a literal angel, not just like, oh, this is the reincarnation of an angel. This is. An angel of death walking in the physical world, kind of thing. So, so like angels qualify as saints, anyways. I mean, no, you can't you can't saint stride through Seraphina. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a cool new ability, not let me use it. Whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, with that, I guess we can jump. If you're ready to take your turn, Bash, we can jump back into. No, I need I need five more minutes. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to cast the spell that I accidentally linked. Uh, plant growth. I assume that there are, like, lily pads and other and moss and, like, plants in here. Yeah, there's tons of fungus that's growing and there's stuff. Um, uh, so, all of the area except for this platform that I am standing on. Oops, one, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Uh, 100 foot radius. <laughs> so, that's, yep. that's 200 feet. Uh... Uh, across the di di diameter, <laughs> so the yep. everything. Um, yes, sir. Except for where, like the the platform that you and Isha are standing on. 
Correct. So probably probably like here, I don't know how to mark it, but probably like a nice little area where we're not in it. And then it's that starts at the water. Something like that. Uh, I can only see part of it because I have like no vision. But uh, yeah, it's two giant overlapping squares. Is the party is the rest of the party going to be in it, too? Don't know they're there. Sure are. <laughs> well, I kind of have an idea they're there, but I don't really know what's going on over there. And I figure this is a good thing. All right. <laughs> so the whole room. Um, I mean, do you even have to see it? No, it's within a specific no. area. So, like, I mean, even even goes down these hallways some, probably. Uh, yeah, so everybody's in plant growth. Do they have to make saves or anything? Nope, it's just difficult terrain, basically, for a very large radius. Okay. And it's uh, it? four feet of movement for every one foot it actually moves. So, extra difficult terrain. Is it over the water? I would assume that there's, like, moss and plants that would also affect the water, right? Uh, yeah, there is, like, stuff growing in the water. It just, like, grows super thick and is going to try to, like, grab at people and things in it, like, nearby. Um, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I was going to say, uh, so Vash sees this, this flash of blinding light, uh, not directly blinding to him because of the angle. Uh, I assume that it would light up Odin's body as it's, like, getting dragged along. Yeah, and actually, like, it probably burns shadows into the walls. So, like, where the pillars are, and they, they would have cast a shadow when she appeared, even after the light goes away, there's still a shadow, like, burned into the wall, maybe? Like, you're lucky some of you guys didn't get turned to dust, to be honest with you. Oh. <laughs> That would have been a bad time to roll a one. Like if there was uh, any if there was any commoners around, I would have killed them instantly with that. But you guys are special, so. <laughs> like short bus special maybe. or <laughs> maybe <laughs> the yeah. issue was special. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm gonna mutter. The hell was that? Um, cast a spell and then to issue say, "It's got Odane. You gotta stop it." Uh, how? Blow shit up. Okay. Um. Not Odane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that your turn? I'm really gonna start thinking that through. Yep, that's it. All right. Um. All right, Seraphina. Your sword works now. You got all your spells oh. and stuff. But is it still like rusty? What do you mean? The, what do you call that? The, of the rest of us. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It would still be, yeah. Okay. It just, okay. it just lost. Like, it just lost like one point of damage or something. It lost two. So oh yeah, because it's one from regular damage and one from the magical damage. Yeah. Or did it lose two from each? It, it lo yeah, it lost two for each because I attacked it. Again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well it's yeah, it's not it's not brand new sword. It's still the same sword, unfortunately. Okay. I mutter ordinary foes might win my mercy, but my sworn enemies do not. I move up close. Alright. And who do I see? Where's the day? He's in the He's water. So Odane's like in the water over here. Uh, if you can't see my arrow, I don't know if you can. But I'll... I'm gonna dash then to jump to the water. <laughs> okay, all right. So everything is takes it takes you four times movement. So one square is actually twenty feet right now. Oh. Shoot, never mind. Oh, cause cool, because I can make three squares. Okay. So, one, twenty. If I dash, I'll just be over here. <laughs> okay. All right. That ends my turn. All right. Orlin? <laughs> um, 
Orland's really not sure what to do. On the one hand, Fee disappeared, but then suddenly reappeared in a blinding light. And on the other hand, there's, like, wonderful plants. She's she's really happy about these plants right now. <laughs> there's probably fungus over where you guys are. Oh, but... well, she's still happy about it. Um, I think she's gonna have a mini breakdown and also start crying. <laughs> <laughs> she can't process her emotions. <laughs> she really can't. <laughs> yep. So that's all you do? Uh, <laughs> I use... That's all she's doing. <laughs> okay. For my turn, for my action, I will take the nervous breakdown action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, issue. I guess uh, he'll move up and take a shot at this thing. I don't think pack tactics pack tactics pack tactics applies. Gosh, that's hard to say. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> Um, all right. He's got one more of them. Let's try. Issue go. Fifteen hits. Oh. Okay. Lightning. Lightning orb. Um. Okay. I uh, I got it. I. Uh, it's still going though. Good thing water isn't conductive. <laughs> <laughs> well, for the purposes of D and D, like you know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I mean, I guess he could choose another damage type if he was, you know, it could be like thunder, which is basically like force. Which is like sound, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, sound, was... yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's his turn. Um, back to the monsters. Um, hey, Ramblin. Yeah? I just checked on the Twitch, and I think the, the map that the Twitch chat gets oh. to see is messed up. Yeah, it's just, I need to scroll down here. Sorry, guys. Oh, because of the reloading it? Yeah, it's from jumping back and forth. There we go. Should be fixed. Okay. Sorry. Thank you for letting me know. Um, yeah. I miss stuff like that all the time. Like, earlier, the Discord thing, pop-out thing, just, like, disappeared for no reason. It's like, thanks, OBS. <laughs> um all right so monsters uh this one's gonna continue to drag odane away uh but its movement is slowed now so it would have 30 Team which feet. is yeah it would have 30 because it's grappling him but oh so then it'd be 7.5 <laughs> so it really gets to move <laughs> one square <laughs> Uh, okay. We'll move one square. Um, this one's gonna move towards them. Uh, it does have full 60. No, it's also in the thing. Yeah, but it... Oh, yeah, so... 15. 15? Okay, yeah, yeah. Two, three. All right. Uh-oh. You uh, should know. <laughs> they can't, um, we established, uh, when they first started fighting these things, they can't grab you guys off the ledge right there. It's too high. Um. Okay, I think it's their turns. There's only two of them left. Odane. Um, oh, you're unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you, you don't have to make a death save. I think you're you're fine. No, I got hit. Yeah, but does that mean you have to? By a dart. Yeah, oh, I think if you get yeah, hit, okay. you start taking this. But he rolled a net 20. Yeah, so you, you recover one HP and wake up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you did roll a quit, crit 20 there. Um, so, yeah, you recover one HP and you wake up uh, underwater and you're being, like, pulled through the water by this thing. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Elduin? I guess, actually, I guess Odin gets a turn now. If you want to do anything. Uh, you wake up at the beginning of your turn, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Odin, you get to take her turn. 
So I don't have my weapon on me, I'm assuming. Uh, right. We were holding it the whole time. Yeah, if you were holding it when you went unconscious, then you would have dropped it. So, like, back here? <laughs> yeah, let me find a sword, and I'll just plop one over there somewhere. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is a decent sword image. Like, right right there? Is that where it was? Yeah, he yeah, was dragged. Um, it should be a fishing rod. I thought though. it was here. I thought it was far. Yeah, you no, were. No, you were dragged in water, though. Oh yeah, because it pulled you it was five. Ten feet, ten foot reach, right? Yeah, but it pulled you yeah, five it feet there. first. It did pull mm -hmm. you. It then like it pulled you five feet first, and then you got knocked unconscious. So it pulled you closer. Okay. Yeah, but it should be a fishing rod, right? I'll find yeah. a fishing rod pictures at some point. But go ahead. Um. I guess I'll just try to blast it. The one on you, be, it would uh, be disadvantage. Yeah. You got any other ideas? Okay. Ten does not hit, unfortunately. You got another blast, right? Uh, we'll try it. Yeah, we'll try it again. Ooh, just one shy. Oh. Man. That's fine. I just kind of just woke up and just like. Com and completely flail around. I fail. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, if that's your turn, that brings us to Elduin. So is the fairy fire going? It is still going. Okay, it so is. I can see the... Can I see that one that's in it? Or I mean, it's emitting, think... it's emitting light, is the it... fairy fire is. So I guess the... Isn't his uh, sight bleary because he started crying when... Uh, <laughs> came back. I mean, I'll let him see what he can see on the map. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you were just like prone. Basically, you had to, you were forced, compelled to kneel down and weep uncontrollably. But yeah, I'll let you act as normal and you just have to stand back up. Uh, I stand back up, try to compose myself and act like that didn't just happen. <laughs> um,. When I was crying, it was probably a mix of different... The sounds of different people I'd heard crying, crying. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of a mess. Uh, I'll stand up and... Wait, so would it be a straight roll on the... Oh, okay, okay, never mind. So it would be disadvantage still on that. Uh, since he just missed before... I mean, it's uh, it's hmm. in the it's in the fairy fire. So if, does it does it have to save against the fairy fire if it walks into the area like that? Well, no, it's not. It's not a continuous effect like oh. like a fireball type. Thing. It's um, <laughs> this is the it way. happens and it lights up all the the objects and the creatures in the area that it happened, and then it's that's it. Okay. But they stay lit up until it ends. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So there would still be light there. Um. Okay. Well, maybe I should uh. Put a light there. Put that shouldn't have deleted that. Then. No worries. Go ahead. Oh, the one that's afraid isn't afraid anymore. By the way. Um. Okay. That's if you're on it. I don't think there's much that he can do except throw darts, and that didn't <laughs> seem to be very effective last time. So. I mean, you woke up Odin. In a I did way. wake up Odin. I'm. I'm a hero. <laughs> did you though? <laughs> I mean, sometimes all it takes is a little poke, and then he'll wake up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You can throw a few more darts and see if you get a one again. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> you know, why not? What, what could go wrong? What could go yeah. wrong? It hits. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, there we go. Okay. And another one. <laughs> I didn't even. I didn't even roll that with disadvantage. Yeah, it wouldn't wow. matter because it's the one. It's no matter what yeah. the other roll is. Oh. Uh, 
So yeah. right as Oday notices the first dart sticking out of him for some reason, and suddenly another one blossoms next to it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess roll damage on Oday. <laughs> It doesn't matter. He has one HP. Yeah. Why am I so unlucky, and why is Odain so unlucky right now? <laughs> Fall off again. Maybe you I should like. That. Maybe you should step behind Seraphita and throw the darts. <laughs> so at least there's a chance you'll hit her instead, right? <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, I. <laughs> I I can still throw one more dart, so... <laughs> do it! Do it! Can't yeah, what could go wrong? Got one more. Okay, that hits. Okay, I didn't miss this time. <laughs> Alright. I'm down to four darts. I, can't, I don't think I have enough to to fully kill Odin on accident yet. <laughs> can I just okay. ask, uh, since you've arrived in this combat with me, how many times have you hit allies? Like three. Uh, twice, but I've rolled four ones. I thought you hit someone last session, too. I thought you did. Did yeah. I? Yeah. No, I thought, so. I, thought I rolled a nat yeah. one and just, like, tripped in the water or something like yeah. that. Yeah, he oh, did roll okay. a nat one, but he didn't Nobody hit anybody. Cool, right? I was going to say, by the third like... or fourth time that you're hitting other allies, they got to start <laughs> wondering whether or not you're meaning to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just two at once. <laughs> I think I rolled like two nat ones when I was trying to punch the thing, but it was melee attacks, so it didn't hit any teammates. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm really unlucky. Carry on. <laughs> uh, so after I'm done hitting Odain, I will kind of uh, look over my shoulder and make sure that I'm not getting shot at by Orlin after that. <laughs> <laughs> And that'll be my turn. All right. Uh, Vash? I I assume I would have seen Odain somewhat wake up and, like, move around. Probably. Great. And then a dart appears and he goes back to sleep. Yep. <laughs> Whoever's sleep. doing that, that's not helpful. There's, like, a red stain coming out in the water around Odain now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a lot of tricks up my sleeve, so I'm going to stick with one that works. And that... Is it a straight roll, or is it a disadvantage, or is it a... Um, I mean, it would be a disadvantage, yeah. Disadvantage, okay. So, I'll fix that on the next ones. Okay. So that one misses. Yeah. Second ray. Okay. And... I'm assuming you're targeting the one that has a Odane, right? Correct, yeah. Two hits. Ready? <sighs> hmm. This is going well. Okay. It's damage. <laughs> yep. Um, just keep on him. That's the end of my turn. All right. Uh, Seraphina? Oh, I had a question. Like, why was he rolling for disadvantage? Because they're submerged in water, so they're invisible. Oh, they're invisible? Yeah. Hmm. So they're okay. lit up, but invisible. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I'm confused. I mean, um, yeah, if they're... Like technically, they are still invisible, because they're... It, it's like you could shine a light on something that's camouflaged. It's You can see it, but it's still camouflaged. The one that was hit by fairy fire was this one. The one that's got yeah, that was like way over uh, on the side. Okay. And that you were targeting the other one. Yeah. Right? So like if you change targets, you can get uh cancel it out and get a regular roll on the purple one. No, I'm alright. I'm fine with that. Alright. Uh, <laughs> right. I just checked, it's definitely at least four not ones already. <laughs> um all right, Birdie. What you got? I'm not used to this body, but I hope it hears me well. Come here, element, uh, element of water, as I use compel duel. Uh, okay. Um, time to compel a creature into a duel. Nice. See within range. Wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, here they're not very good at those. What's the DC? Thirteen. 
rolled a seven. Um, How does work? Because he can't move closer to Tim. No, he's not frightened anymore. Oh, he's yeah, not. He's yeah, that wore off. Yeah, it only lasts one round. Um, on a fail, it's drawn to you, compelled by your divine demand. Um, disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you. And if it tries to move away from you, it has to make a wisdom save. Uh, okay. All right. Um, that was my bonus action. So my action is that um, I point at it, and then I hope you hear the bell toll. Okay. As I do toll the dead. Awesome. Uh, so, do you have to make a roll? I think wisdom. you need to do a wisdom save again. Oh, okay. 13. All right, okay, fails. fails. Uh, really? You take 11. <laughs> okay, it was the lower one. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait, why is it DC 10? It should be DC 13. Uh, how do you cha change that? Because, sure. like, on my sheet, it says DC 13. And then here, on the thing, it says DC 10. Let me take a look at it. Sometimes the roll 20 stuff doesn't update. And you have to go in and, like, go in, like, pretend you're selecting something else and then switch it back to whatever your DC is based off of. Yeah. I've had to do that with several of Orlin's spells. I'm taking a look at it right now. Um, spell, it says your spellcasting ability is charisma on that spell for some reason. Yeah. It should be wisdom, right? Um, They have to do the wisdom saving throw, but I use... Charisma as a... Oh, because you're a paladin. Yeah. Uh, so it should be charisma as the spellcasting. Yeah. Uh, saving throw is wisdom. I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. Then There's no way to like modify it in the spell itself. Uh, let me try casting it from your sheet. Oh, uh, at, at the top of your spells sheet, does it say charisma as your spell casting ability? Or oh, it... now it's gone. Like the spell casting ability is none. Spell save DC zero, and then spell attack bonus is zero. So just click in that box and then select charisma. Oh, okay. And it should Probably. update it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So next time you click it, it should show it correctly. Let's All right. do it now. But it's still 11. No, it didn't fix it. No, uh, it did not. Okay. Hmm. All right, but just take 11. I'll fix that later. Yeah, yeah, I already put the damage yeah. on it. How do you fix that? Um, if you could see it, it's looking pretty rough. Uh, You got anything else for your turn? That ends my turn. All right. Orlin? Okay, um, Orlin. Still technically just bawling her eyes out. Um, <laughs> she can't see Odane anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, <laughs> she's gonna continue, um, to cry, I think. How, how much would it? cost to move through this uh you would need ten. more than 30 feet of movement yeah each more than 30 to move the 10 each square yeah. is 20 feet okay i think she is gonna slowly move to try and get a dane sword so. fishing rod <laughs> fishing yeah. rod right <laughs> i'll find it i'll find a picture for a fishing rod one day roll 20 doesn't have anything <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Probably doesn't come up much. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Is that in your turn? 
You know, technically she could move up one more if it's a full round action. So, yeah, she's gonna use her uh, action to dash. Okay. To <laughs> dash <laughs> and, and pick up Odin's uh, weapon. Yeah, alright. You got it. Cool. That's all she's doing. <laughs> alright. Uh, Ishu's turn again. Uh... I'm running out of spells here. Um. <laughs> Please tell me he has cantrips. <laughs> he does. He's firebolt. Oh yeah, he shut me up. Ah, uh, ranges. I'm looking at some of his other stuff. His firebolt's not going to do a whole lot. All right, firebolt it is. <laughs> Uh, on the one, he has disadvantage. Uh, all right, here goes. <laughs> so he hits two fourteens. Jesus, he does so much damage with that. Yeah. So he kills the thing. <laughs> it had it had eight hit points left. Oh, the one that I compelled. Don't yeah. So it lets go of Odin's unconscious body. Uh, <laughs> so the other one can grab it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that ends his turn. On the creature's turn, it's going to grab Odin and start trying to move. Um, hang on. Down to five feet once it grabs him. <laughs> yeah, let me... Uh, hard to like select both of these guys it's in. okay so it can only move five feet yep <laughs> so right there it moves to right there all right uh okay that's that guy's turn i mean you guys have pretty much got this in the bag all you gotta do is get his body back <laughs> oh dane an, is it death save time again is that what happened yep all right one successful death save Here comes an incoming unsuccessful death save. <laughs> I was about to say, roll another net 20, but a 10 will do I'm it. Trying to I'm trying to figure out if there's any way he can get himself out of the, the trouble that he's probably going to be in after this for stabbing Odane with a dart twice. Um, so I'm going to... And make a tactical move of slyly walking back and then uh, dashing to walk back a little bit to here. All right, the creature holding and... its action. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that'll that'll be my my turn. All right, uh, Vash. Great. Kind of took all the tension from this, didn't I? Uh. <laughs> uh, and this one is actually fairy fired, so it'd be hard to miss him. I had a whole thing planned for if I can get Odin's body away from you guys. Happy oh. to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be with disadvantage, it was supposed to be with advantage, so 17. Okay, well, 17 hits. <laughs> rolls 19, I roll 7. Alright. <laughs> uh huh. It's um, fine. Which is. <laughs> Three, I think. Uh huh. Has one HP left. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. Do the honors. <laughs> I pick up a rock and throw it at it. No. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's it for my turn. Alright. Serafina? All right, I I could see it now, right? With, because of the fairy fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is out of line here. Um, then I also do told the dead. I point at it. All right, wisdom save. Yes. It did. Succeeds. Oh, no, succeeds. Darn it. Does it not do? Um, it doesn't do anything if it if it succeeds, right? No, because it's a. Can trip. Um, 
I'll just do in case it runs away. Why is it not showing? I don't know. Now it's not showing your spells. What the heck? <clears throat> is it because I changed your name? No, it was working after that. The first time she cast Total yeah. Damage, the Compelled Duel. Let me close the thing and then back. Correct. Yeah, yep. yeah no you, guys, you guys don't really know <laughs> how many there uh, were or are. You don't even know how many died in that explosion because they just drank water. <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of mist. Oh, okay. I'll just like I I cast <laughs> Hunter's Mark. Oh, you're yes. casting Hunter's Mark on it. Yes. <laughs> All right. Just in case it runs away. Okay. As a bonus action. All right. That ends my turn. Okay. Orlin. Okay. Um, when Orlin turns back to go away from the water again, um, she. Because that one's marked with a fairy fire, she can see that out of the corner of her eye, so she's actually going to shoot it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she'd have to roll two ones to hit you at this point, so... You probably could. <laughs> you never so is know. this with advantage <laughs> or normal? I think advantage. it's advantage, because it's with advantage. the fairy. Well, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's advantage. Yeah, yeah. Cool, because... I don't want to accidentally hit OD. <laughs> All right, you kill it. Cool. I want to roll damage just. To see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seven squad. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Yep. So it dies, but uh, Odin's corpse is still like floating. Corpse. I mean, soon to be corpse. Um, is still like in the <laughs> in the water. <laughs> Okay. Um, there isn't really anything else she can do, so she's gonna move down one. <laughs> okay. And that's it. All right. <clears throat> do you guys want to take a a break? We didn't. We didn't take yeah. a break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm good either way. Um, yeah, I'm fine. I kind of need to put a break somewhere for the for the vods. That's fine, we can break. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. I actually <laughs> thought you were gonna take a break right before food would come back to us, and then it didn't happen. And I forgot. Yeah, I probably <laughs> should have, but I forgot too. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we'll be back in like, I don't know, like five. Take like a right. short short break. It's it's All mostly right. just for the uh, for the vods. So we'll be right back. Thanks for watching. Don't drown in the uh, in the drink you go get. <laughs> like Odin. Yeah. If you enjoy the video, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe.